Welcome back to Money in Motion, currency trading. The recent dollar gains have been gold's pain, bullion actually falling into official bear market territory this week. Surprisingly, though, our next guest, maybe not surprisingly, actually, our next guest says it is time to buy. He is Peter Schiff of Euro Pacific Capital, author of the little book of bull moves. Peter, it is great to have you with us. You've been a, a gold bull for quite some time. Um, and I'm wondering if you were able to take advantage of this 20% decline to add to your positions. Yeah, we've been buying, uh, personally, I've been buying, particularly in the, in the mining stocks, which I think have a lot of value. Like, I was very bullish on gold for 2011, this time 2010. And for most of the year, we had a very strong market. I didn't anticipate uh, the extent of the decline towards the end of the year, uh, although that makes me even more bullish for the prospects for gold for 2012. I think uh, the fundamentals have never been better for gold, and I think uh, prices are going a lot higher. Hey, uh, maybe hey, this Peter, year hey. we'll- Peter, it's Andy. I, are you still sticking with your gold 5,000? Because, I, I mean, gold's come off, and a lot of people have you know, barfed on their shoes, basically, with these gold positions. And I know you were extraordinarily bullish, but, you know, like, what's your time frame for this thing turning around? Well, look, I, I still think it's headed higher, so I'm not really sure when you're talking about the turnaround. I don't think that the correction that we've had in the last few months has turned the bull trend. I think we're still in the bull market, so I think that trend is going to continue. The question is, is the correction over? I don't think there's much more left in the correction. And you guys were talking earlier in the show about shorting the euro. You know, I think that trade is going to reverse. There's too many people short the euro. It's crowded. It's too simple. And I think people are going to lose money in that trade. And I think not enough people are in gold. Well, think, we know a lot of... Go ahead. But do you think the, the gold trade is, is less crowded than uh, the euro short trade? I think gold <laughs> is like super over-owned in, in, in a lot of portfolios. Not at all. I mean, it is so under-owned. It's probably the most under-owned investment asset out there. I mean, I've spent a lot of time in the last few months speaking with institutional investors. You know, we have a new institutional division at my brokerage firm, and so we've been talking with a lot of pension funds and hedge funds, and it is shocking, absolutely shocking, how few gold is actually owned in these huge portfolios, $100 billion Peter. of money under management, and practically Peter, no gold. Yes. What, what is, what's, what's driving uh, your gold call in terms of commodities? Do you see further easing by the Fed, further easing globally? Do you see further risk aversion with the situation in Europe? Because that would go hand in hand if you saw, you know, a sovereign default majorly in the Eurozone, you'd have short euro and, you know, gold moving higher. Yeah, well, you know, it's not necessarily default that's worrying me. It's the fact that the governments are going to pay, but it's how they're going to pay. They're going to pay by printing money, and that's what's going on. And I think the U.S. is a bigger disaster than Europe, but all the central banks, the U.S., the ECB, the Bank of Japan, the Bank of China, everybody is printing too much money. Everybody's got rates too low, and the world is looking for an alternative to currencies, not just the dollar or the euro, but the world of people are going back to real money, and not enough people have made that switch. Right. Most people are still clinging to the idea that there's a safe haven somewhere in, 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 in currency. There is no safe haven in currencies. If you want to protect your wealth, if you want to store purchasing power, mm-hmm. you can't do it in a currency. You need to own gold. And most people are still clueless about that. And a lot of central banks still need to buy gold. If you look at gold as a percentage of reserves, sure. it's near a record low. Peter? So central banks have a lot of gold to buy. Thanks for coming on the show. We do appreciate your time. Happy New Year. Peter Schiff of Euro-Pacific Capital.